give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. If you're an adult lady or guy who is supposed to be married, don't hang with people if you're not going to marry them. There was a, a particular age I got to. There's no point carrying what I will not eat and be smelling and be trying to pass it. No, I don't need to do that. I'm not, my age is not, does not have, if when you were 21, you can be doing things like that. But at a certain age you get to, you don't have the time. Jesus said it at the age of 30 something, I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no man can walk. I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. John chapter 9 verse 4. The night comes when no man can walk. There's no point. Before you propose to a sister, if it's not going to work, you will know. But many of us are not intentional. We just do this, zap, zap. Talking to KG, anything that comes our way. At the end of the day, the sister will say, you break her heart. You say, eh, I didn't break her heart. It is, uh, God has said it's not going to work again. And you are littering your life with all kinds of disappointments. You've spoken to that one, you spoke to the other one, you spoke to the other one, and that one, and that one, and that one. In my life, I've only proposed to two women in my life. One died. So I need to continue my life. So I had the opportunity to speak to another person. When mama died, I told myself, I will not be postponing to... Do you know what it means when they say the pastor of Royalty Christian Center has spoken to me too? <laughs> do, do, you know, do, you know the, do you know what it means? He told, he told me too. Most of them now. So from the beginning, I talked to myself. That, oh boy, you have passed that level. So the day you target the thing, bam, you go forward. So when my wife, when we have some challenges dating, she was saying maybe we should, uh, maybe we should review it. I said we cannot review this one. This has been concluded already. It's a concluded matter. She said because this wala is much. I said look, we have con we are, before I stepped out, I knew the wala was going to come. Count the cost. You marry a woman, you say I didn't know that. Why didn't you know? You wasted somebody's time. Time is precious. Time is life. So calculate the cost. Before you made the first attempt, calculate all the cost. So that you won't look like a stupid man. See, actually, I thought that. What, why did you, you thought that what? <laughs> Let me show you something that will close. This is the final one. Because I know time is gone. I would say I'll be intentional. When you wake up every morning, if you're the type, if you're the type who have plans for what you want to do, me, how I do my own is on Monday. Monday is my off day. I plan my whole week. Everything I want to do per week. So when you wake up every day and you know what you want to achieve for the day, ask yourself, what am I supposed to do to achieve these things? Then pay the price. Let me tell you how success comes. When you are sleeping every day, when you're about to sleep, ask yourself, have I done all that I needed to do? Or all that I plan to do today? If the answer is yes, you have scored an A. And if you can score an A over a period of time, success is guaranteed. Not that you score A today. You score F tomorrow. That will be a life of inconsistency. But if you can del be deliberate and be intentional about your life, your, the way you dress, you are intentional. Who you are talking to, you are intentional. People you are making your friends are intentional. You know there is a colorful tomorrow and it will not fit this other guy because this other guy is not, it's an NFA, it's not a serious guy. So there's no point because, friendship is not by force. It's by choice. But you, everybody you meet on Facebook is your friend. Who says so? Social media friends are just, you know, say I have 5,000 followers on Facebook. Do you know what they call friendship? Just somebody liking and following you does not make him your friend. Let him be quoting scripture on social media. That doesn't make him your friend. I prophesy. Every young person here in this message, live or online, God will guide your steps. I say God will guide your steps. 
I've come to realize that most successful people, they are intentional people. The school they put their children, they are intentional about it. Hello? The school they put their children, they are intentional about it. Look at what the Bobby boys are doing. They have taken over the federal government. The Bobby boys are everywhere. Very intentional people. The Kaduna boys are everywhere. Do you know that those who will rule us the next 10, 15, 20 years, some people have already picked them. As if they will not die. Then you, a believer, a child of God. He said, so how will tomorrow look like? He said, let's wait for tomorrow. Let tomorrow come first. Let's wait for tomorrow. Stop waiting for tomorrow. Be intentional. Be proactive. Don't be reactive. I prophesy in the name that is above every name. As you become intentional, you will make unbelievable progress. Everything you do from today till December and beyond, it will be profit. In all your labor from today, there will be reward. Every phone call will be an addition to your life. Every step you take will be a step forward. From today, in the name of Jesus, in all your labor, there will be profit. In all your labor, there will be profit. In all your labor, there will be profit. Something interesting happened to me during the week. A boy that I named 18 years ago. Well, our church then was in customary calls. He gave me a call and said, Pastor, I want to see you. You know, there are many of these big, big boys you see in church now. I, 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 then church was small, so I was the one naming them. I said, you want to see me? He said, yes. I was a little, because he has never. I said, you know what? If it is credit, here time you don't have, let me call him. Then let's talk on phone. Because I feel, some of you traveling all the way from your house to see me. Your parents may need you. I said, don't worry, I can call you, then we can talk. He said, no, it's not a phone talk, sir. I want to see you one-on-one. -on -one. So I said, okay, since it's a serious matter, let's see. So he came. When he entered my office, I was a little, uh, because, you know, I don't get to see 18-year-old people coming to see me like that. Then he told me, this boy is in year two, studying architecture. And he's handling his first project. And he came to give me a seed. I said, stop, wait a minute. Did you tell your daddy and mommy about this? He said, yes, they are aware. He said, I'm, he's building a five-bedroom duplex for one of his father's friends. He designed it and he's the one executing it at year two. Ah. I said, you know that when I had you want to see me, I'd made arrangement for your transport. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'd made arrangement that when you are going, I need to give you transport. And because I didn't have cash, I've sent someone to go and get cash for me. So I, he said, no, no, no. He, he laughed at me like, no, 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 pastor, no. You know, when you have same money, you say, drive me transport. He said, no, 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 no. He said, no, pastor. Ah. You came with an envelope to say thank you to me at year two? I told him, I said, you know what, young man? I said, in the next one year, you're going to be a millionaire. Within the next one year. I said, because the way you are good, because I'm an architect, I know what it means to build a five-story building, a five-bedroom five, uh, duplex. Once you finish it, I said, get ready for millions. I said, are you ready? He said, yes. I said, because once you finish it, that's your signboard. At 18, he was very intentional. He has always been intentional. I know him as a little boy. The day he came to my friend and said, I want to study architecture, I said, why? Please be intentional. Be deliberate. Stop living by trial and error. You can't pick every call. You can't be friend to everybody. Trying to please everybody, you end up not pleasing, your, not pleasing God. Stand up on your feet. Lift up your two hands. And say, Lord, I receive grace. To be purposeful. To be intentional. To be deliberate about sowing the right seed for a colorful future. Turn into prayer quickly.
all eyes are closed, all heads are bowed. You need to pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. From today, I want to be intentional with my life. Deliberate. Every year, the enemy has stolen from me. Every year, the canker worm has stolen from me. I recover them all. I will be intentional and I will recover all in the name of Jesus. No more trial and error. No more living by trial and error. No more living by trial and error. Lord, I'll be focused, I'll be purposeful, I'll be intentional, and I'll be deliberate. In my business, I'll be. In my marriage, in my life, in my health, in everything that has to do with me. We have a few minutes to pray this prayer. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, grace to be intentional with my life. Grace to be purposeful. No more trial by error. Trial and error. In Jesus' precious name we pray. You know, if Jesus was living by trial and error, when he wanted to make him king, he would have just said, okay, let's try king for a while. I mean, it, to be king is beautiful. If I was not intentional about my life, when I was offered to come and live in America, I would just say, ah, it's not. Some, there are people, who are, when people are not intentional, you know, because they live by trial and error. They live by whatever comes. If you give some people credit card now, a whole pastor, he will leave the church and pack to America because of credit card. There are some of us, if you give me credit card, I'll still be here because I know what, you see, be purposeful with your life, be intentional with what you're doing. I've come to realize that when you are intentional, you may be slow, but you'll be sure. You'll be sure. You may be slow, but you'll be sure. Every step forward, you know this one is a step forward. I told you, I walked into jam the fourth time. I knew it's not possible. I decree. In the name that's above every name. Every year you have lost in the past because of living a life that is not purposeful. As you remain purposeful from today, begin to recover those years. Yeah. Whatever you have lost into not living an intentional life, whatever you have lost to living a life that is not focused, I decree in the name of Jesus from today, as you remain focused and intentional, begin to recover them all. Yeah. Listen, I speak today by the authority in the word of God. Everything you have lost the last 10 years, Within the next 365 days, I command their recovery. I thought you would shout a big amen to this one. The things you have lost the last 10 years, within the next 365 days, I command their multiple recoveries. I command their multiple recoveries. I command their multiple recoveries. In your business, you recover all. In your career, you recover all. In your marital destiny, you recover all. In your health, you recover all. In your finance, you recover all. In all areas of your life, you recover all. All eyes are closed, all heads are bowed, whatever you are. Stretch your hands towards me. Whatever you are, all eyes closed, all heads bowed. I sense an unusual grace in this meeting, in this atmosphere. Whether you're watching online, stretch your hands towards this place. All eyes are closed, all heads are bowed. I decree from today, the spirit of the living God will come upon you. He will order your steps. You will be definite about everything you are doing. No more fruitless labor. No more fruitless attempts. Every step forward will be a forward step. Everyone under this grace, under this anointing, I decree one more time. The Lord said I should say it over one more time. The year things you lost the last 10 years, within the next 365 days, 52 weeks, baby, you are recovering them all. 
By the time we're having this kind of service next year, within this time, you will share your testimony. All eyes will see it. All ears will hear it. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we pray.